Sam got a job at the space station and he encountered a lot of complex problems which he had to solve in very less time. One of such problems were when he got a data from the Mars mission that one of the space stations or space flights to be precise have a particular speed that is log 8 to the base 32. And now to increase its speed they need to add an additional engine whose speed would be log 4 to the base 32. Now Sam needs to calculate the final speed of the spare craft after addition of the new engine. So, the initial speed of the engine was log 8 to the base 32 and after that an additional engine was added whose speed is log 4 to the base 32. Now if he needed to add this it was a bit difficult reason being the base is 32 while the numbers are 8 and 4 which are not powers of 32. So he was really worried because he had to solve it really quickly and he did not have a calculator at hand. So what did he do? He called Sham who is a senior scientist at the space station and Sham told him that this sort of a problem can be solved using the product law. So Sham told that this is the product law. It means that if log xy to the base b is given then it can be written as log x to the base b plus log y to the base b which is the product law. So Sham did give him a formula or a law but does it stand true? Sam has got this job really recently and he doesn't want to make any mistakes. So for checking this particular law he had to make some assumptions. So what did he assume? He assumed the values of x, y and b. So let's see. He assumed x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2 and also b is equal to 2. So with these values he tried to solve the LHS and the RHS. So let's take the LHS first. So we have log. Now the base we have taken as 2 right. So we'll take 2 at the bottom and we have x into y. Now x is 4 and y is 2. So we'll write 4 into 2. Now 4 into 2 is 8 right. So this will be log 8 to the base 2. Now let's see. Now 8 if we write in the form of 2 what will it be? It will be 2 into 2 is 4 into 2 is 8 that is 2 multiplied 3 times right. So log 8 to the base 2 will be nothing but log 8 to the base 2 will be 3 ok. So we have LHS as 3. Now let's solve RHS for the same values. So we have log x to the base b so we can write it as log x is 4 right. So 4 to the base 2 and plus log y is 2 right. So 2 to the base 2. Now this if solved again then 4 is nothing but 2 into 2 that is 2 times 2. So the solution for this will be 2 plus we have log of 2 to the base 2. So we have the argument in base as same which means that the answer will always be 1. So that's 1 then the final answer is 3. So what we find is that when we solve this law we get LHS is equal to RHS that means this law stands true. So now 
that Sam has confirmed that this law stands true, he'll apply it to the problem which he's facing. So the problem which he was facing is that log of 8 to the base 32 plus log of 4 to the base 32. Now, this is exactly in this form. So this can be written as this. That means log of 8 into 4 to the base 32. So now we can write it again as log of 8 into 4 is 32, right? So 32 to the base 32. So now again we have the argument and the base as same. So its answer will be 1. So see how this complex problem was solved with the help of logarithm law that is the product law and we found the answer as 1. So after this particular problem he was very happy but suddenly he got another data and this time he got the data about earthquakes. Now that particular day three different earthquakes happened on the planet Mars and the data was sent was the first earthquake was log 6 to the base 6, the second was log 3 to the base 6 and the third was log 2 to the base 6. Now these are three different energy levels and he had to report to the main station the final that is the total energy levels obtained from that day. That means he needed to add all these three. Now again these three have the same base and different arguments. So he could have applied product law but what he knew from the product law is that there are only two particular parts of the product law but here we have three. So he confirmed with Sham who said that yes even for these three he can apply the product law because the product law stands for any number of products. That means that not only this, if something is like this where you have M, N, O, P, any number of products, then they can be separately added as number of times as the product is there. So applying this particular law, we can say that log 6 to the base 6, log 3 to the base 6 and log 2 to the base 6. If they are added, then they can be written as log 6 into 3 into 2 to the base 6. Now once we have this, this becomes simpler. So this can be written as 6 into 3 is 18 and 18 into 2 is 36. So we have log 36 to the base 6. Now 36 is nothing but 6 square. So this can be written as log 6 to the power 2 to the base 6. Now we know from the properties of logarithms that if the argument is a power of the base, in that case the power is the answer. So here we see, see that 6 is the base and the argument is 6 square. So it is a power of the base. So we can write it as 2. So you see how this particular problem was solved with the help of again the laws of logarithm and we were able to find the answer as 2. Now let's see a typical problem which uses the laws of logarithm again. So here we have log of x to the power of 4 into root x to the power of 5 to the base x. Now, although it may look complex to you, with the help of logarithms and laws of logarithms, we'll be able to solve it very simply. So we know that the product law means that if 
we have something like x into y sort of a format, then we can write it as log of x to the power of 4, which is this to the base x plus log of root x to the power of 5 to the base x. Now with the help of product law, we have broken it into two parts. Now let's see from the properties, we know that if the argument is a power of the base, in that case, the power is the answer. So we have here 4 plus, now root can always be written as a power, something like this log the base x, x to the power of 5, 1 by 2. So when you have a root, you can always write it as reciprocal, that is 1 by 2 as the power. So now you have x to the power of 5 to the power of 1 by 2. So this again can be written as 4 plus log x to the power of 5 into 1 by 2 to the base x. Now how did, how did we arrive here? Well, we know that from exponents that if something is x to the power of y to the power of a, then you can write it as x to the power of y into a. So similarly, we solved this and we found it is 5 into 1 by 2. Now, again, if the argument is the power of base, then the power itself is the answer. So, the answer is 4 plus 5 by 2. Taking an LCM, we get the answer as 13 by 2. So, you see that from this equation, by solving this particular equation, we were able to get the answer as 13 by 2, which can also be written as 6.5 or 6, 1 by 2. So this complex looking equation was not actually very complex. So this all is possible with the help of product law of logarithms.